So for example, like the key word that we see the top one, how to airbrush, is you're probably getting people who had no interest in what you wanted. Right. Yeah, I was getting, actually that was a, a fairly, airbrush and airbrushing were, were big, big traffic. Okay, and but not I can a lot tell of you, flips. So, first yeah. of all, one of the things that you're going to learn is that one word keywords are not buying keywords. They're, they're tire kicking e um, right. um, keywords. So when you someone would, you, is typing in four keywords, uh, airbrush my, um, hot my, you know. Every mo motorcycle manufacturer you can right. name. Okay. Right. Airbrush pimp, pimp my, my Indian, Honda. Uh, Those people are buying. Airbrush Honda motorcycle. And it's, it's, it's the old thing, the more information equals the more interest, equals the farther along the buying process they already are. Well, uh, Lori brought up the conversation in your head. That's a, that's a tactic that a lot of marketers forget, that you, you can't educate these guys to get it. You've got to join the conversation already going on in their head. Maybe they're not even, even aware of it. Maybe they're walking around a step away from being cognizant that they really want to pimp their ride out. You know, and you come and you go and you, you, damn it, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. You know, I'm tired of driving this, this primer black car around. You know, I'm ready to actually pop for this. And I, I do it F only, blank, blank, blank. And it, you come in and you be the F only. You fill in that part of it. And what, what, what Harlan's talking about is, is really advanced marketing stuff. Just, you know, get farther along in that conversation so you're not dealing with guys who say, well, I, you know, I'm really interested in, in painting flames on the side of the cars, but you find out they're 12 years old and they're doing it while they're drawing. You know, they're four years away from buying their hot rod. What do you think about those uh, click-through rates, Harlan? Uh, well, those are good, except they're click-through rates on the, wrong, on the wrong keyword so that they're not really uh, meaningful. Yeah, I think that that's you know you develop a new language dealing with uh, AdWords. That's why we're dealing with guys like Perry Marshall. Perry's a friend of mine. Uh, it's it's almost like learning to exist in a new culture. It's like going and deciding you're going to live in Spain now. So you got to learn how to live in Spain. You if you take your living in the Central Valley of California act over to Spain, you're you're not going to make a lot of friends. You know, so you got to you, you got to relearn a lot of things at, at the cellular level in a lot of ways. And you've got to learn how to read this stuff, because a lot of people get very excited about click-through rates. But as Harlan right, rightly points out, it's like, uh, you know, if you, you, you move to Spain, and suddenly you have a lot of friends, and then later on, when you learn how to speak the language, you realize they're all hookers, and they've been stealing from you. You know, it's like, oh, no wonder they were so happy to come over to the house. And